All right, what's poppin', man? You already know it's uh, your boy, Mr. J Hill, Conversation Series. I wanted to do something a little different. Um, got a little studio set up going on in, in the studio. <laughs> That's all you need to know. <laughs> my my right. guy, Dice Swag, is in the Whoa, building. What's up, baby? How you doing? You already know I'm good, man. You're the first one to do this. I feel like you might have been. I remember when I had this, the, the little studio set up uh, in Baltimore, for real. Yeah. I think you was probably the first one to do that. Well, it was you or... um. It was, uh, I forgot who did one before me there. Rest in peace, Nick Breed. Rest in peace, Nick Breed. He yeah. did one right after me. Um, he definitely uh, shouted out my shit for real before he did his, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And then he went up there and did his thing. You know Your shit mean? was crazy, though. At Big L. There's people still today still talking about that shit for real, like. Your shit was crazy, though. Bro, like, to where's though, like, and what was it? One take? One take, bro. One take. Just want y'all to know that. It was one take. Yo, so. Let's start there, man. Do you feel like um, Dice Swag, for the people that don't know, I'm sorry, I'm so rude, uh, rapper, artist, musician out of Baltimore, tell them about yourself a little bit before I go into my questions, because I got different questions and shit, for niggas that probably already know you. Right, right, right. All right, well, you feel me? I go by Dice Swag, you know what I mean? Mr. Ball for Ball, you know what I mean? Mr. True to Yourself, people show you how true they are to you, that's the brand, that's the label, that's how, that's what we doing, you know what I mean? That's how we moving. Straight out of Southwest Baltimore, Zone 29, Yale Heights, all that area. You know what I mean? If you're familiar with it, you're familiar with it. Um, just like you said, yo, uh, songwriter, you know what I mean? Recording artists for real. I talk that real shit, real shit only. You know what I mean? Only a few can relate, but if you relate, you know what I mean? You in you in the game, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, Of course, we got ATO on the building. Yes, sir. You cop that. What's the Instagram, bro? Mm -hmm. The official water girl. The official water girl. Fuck with the team. All is here, yo. Mm -hmm. This shit is, shit is good, man. But I've been, we've been saying that. Nigga said, you got to try this shit, bro. We've been, yep. we been on it, bro. Yo, yeah, I'm about to say, you've been out for, what, 2016, right? Mm-hmm. 2016. I think I tried it. I might have tried it in 2016. Man. Yeah. Man. Hey, I think so. I think it well, might have been 2016 or 17. Yeah, it had to be. Yeah, it had to, because I remember it was early. It was mm -hmm. before we did the freestyle. Yeah, it mm -hmm. was definitely before that. But, yo, let's get back to this rap shit, bro. Do you, um... Does real bars matter anymore? Do niggas care about this shit? No, not at all. Why, <laughs> why, why you feel a necessity or the need to, to continue to give this this hardcore real shit? Because it's a it's a it's an era of uh, uh, influential rap. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. people don't even want to be listening to you know J Cole and uh, 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 Chance the Rapper, um, even Nas. Uh, you know certain motherfuckers like that for real because they talking different for real. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker rather, rather listen to. Two two three, or I'm on the corner of this and that. You feel me? Because it's more of an influential thing now because of the era is young. You know what I mean? So like, people love listening to that sound of uh, not per se violence, but like in that type of lane for mm -hmm. real, for real. So it's like, oh, why right, nigga talking like this? Nigga talking like that? I might fuck with it for real. You feel me? But if he coming off different, it's you gotta have a a buzz already or that certain type of imagery you giving off already to come that type of different, you know what I mean? Right. So that shit is it's different now, bro. It, so it, 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 I ain't gonna say it it don't matter because in certain places it do for real, you feel me? So like certain people that do appreciate that shit will appreciate you for doing it, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I ain't gonna say it's dead for real. Yo, let's talk about uh, <clears throat> the So Swag mm. team. Cause I feel like it's my team of y'all, right? Right. Like, how, how did that even come about? Man, niggas was just friends for real, for real. You feel me? Like, and it just came about like, all right, my man, he knew he knew Tay. You feel me? And we was like another group. You feel me? And niggas just came downtown one day and just came together for him. Was like, yo, this is what we doing? Mm -hmm. You feel me? And that, niggas been rocking out since what, two thousand eight, two thousand nine? Okay. You feel me? <laughs> but like, you know, shit different now though. You know what I mean? Everybody took their own little. Little wave, everybody doing their own little thing and shit like that. So, you know, niggas still a, you know, a movement, but everybody got their own thing going on. So it was basically Tay was first though, I guess, and then he brought y'all on, or like yeah, before y'all had the team, it was just y'all, his homies. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So like, all right. So yeah, like, Tay had his own rap group going on. Okay. And we had our own little, uh, my man Spiffy, uh, fucking Cuddy. Um, Man, Ty, you know, we all had our group going on and shit. And um, they knew Tay for real. I ain't really even know Tay like that for real. And um, we had came downtown. We was teenagers and shit. Came together and was like, oh, this is how we rock. And this, 
it's the type of movement we we gonna do for real. So ever since then, it's like it's only a certain few for real that you know stuck together for real. But like everybody pieced off doing mm -hmm. their own thing, and then it's like all right, Tay, you got your own thing going on. I got my own thing going on. We but gonna still, push this. So, so. It's, yeah, it's still that for at the end of the day for real. The friendship is that's what it is for real. But okay. like you know, people got their own paths going on. People got their own things going on. So it's like. You venture here and it's like we still cool, but it's like yeah, bro, this is what I gotta do for real. This is for it's for us, but it's for me. You okay, feel me? that makes sense. Did you? Were, I feel like was Tay into battle rap back in the day. Yeah, I feel like I heard him battle rap. Was you ever into battle rap? Yeah, hell yeah. How was that? That shit was fun. Yeah. Like it was fun for real, just for a little bit because like I was more of a songwriter. Like I like the melody more than anything, but like with the wordplay, like I said, I appreciate bars for real. So mm -hmm. it was like we would always get together. Watch um, Tay Rock, um, Nay, uh -huh. you know, niggas from the city, Lil D for Lil real. D? Yeah. yeah, you yeah. feel me? Yo, that shit be niggas hard. Know, yo. Bro. Like, yo, that shit be hard for real. So it was like, we was always around that crowd. And it was like, if you was. If you was around that shit, yo, it was like, yo, it was like, you it, you a one of a kind person for real. That's a Baltimorean because that shit was only lasted, like, but so few, you yeah. feel me? The Baltimore battle. Shout out to the loot for doing that uh -huh. shit too, for real. Like, Shout out to us. That's. The Spitters Club, that was the nigga name? Or no, uh, the other two nigga? leaders, Baltimore uh, Battles and um, uh, uh, Shaka Pitts. Shaka Pitts, yeah, right. Shaka, Shaka, I, Shaka. I used to come to his shit. <laughs> yeah, yo, down to uh, Five Seasons yeah, and shit, yo. that shit was lit, man. And, yeah, it was cool, you know, yo. Like, it was, it was, it's definitely an experience, and it definitely gave me that experience to put towards my music, for real, mm -hmm. and, like, use it for my craft and all that shit. So, yeah, I... It was definitely fun, but Tay was really into that shit. Like, no, I can see. Yeah, Tay was into that shit. And shout out my man Zeke for real. He was into that shit too. Man Zeke, he was killing shit. Tay, uh, uh, Tay just got a deal in the A now, right? Mm -hmm. How does that like being so close to somebody that just got signed? Like, does that make you anxious or does it make you like excited? Because I know real niggas like, because we ain't even gonna like address the other side. Cause some niggas just be hating on their friends. Yeah, hell like, yeah. Niggas be weirdos. Hell like, yeah. Does that like how does it make you feel as far as a feeling as a friend just made? Is it like anxious? Is it like excited? Is it all in one? How's it? How, how, yeah. how did you feel when you first seen it? Yo, that shit was like, <laughs> cause niggas always talked about it for real. Was you know when we was growing up and all that shit for real. And mm -hmm. then world star being the platform that it is, it's just like it's really unbelievable for yeah. real. And then like you know me and bro like we didn't we didn't been through shit and this music shit don't even really mean shit for real. You feel me? Like niggas know what we want to do at the end of the day for real. So it's like when it did happen, it was like yo. We we taking we we getting there for yeah. real. You feel me? Like and everybody already know like that's bro. So like what whatever he do for real, niggas can't forget me. You feel me? So it's not like me saying like all right, yeah, bro gonna do his thing and niggas gonna know he gonna take me. No, cause I'm doing my own thing. Right. Niggas already know that for real. But at the same time, niggas know like yeah that together shit. Like everybody always say something. That shout out to Izzy too for real. You feel me? He definitely uh. Put a um, nice crowd on that shit too, for real. But like everybody always say, like yo, y'all together in this shit. Like no matter what I do, no matter what he do, niggas already know for real what's up. What do you think it take to? Uh, I guess because we, we don't want to say make it because I, I think that would be an insult to him too. Like he wouldn't even say he made it just yet because niggas is still working. Right. What do you think it take to even get signed by a, a recognized platform like World Star? Like do you think it takes the money, the grind, moving? Because we see that nigga got out of here. He said, "Fuck that, I'm right. out." What right. do you think it take for you? It take probably consistency and being different. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, the consistency definitely matters because it's like, all right, people want to see what you're doing constant. Mm -hmm. Like in this spot, this spot, doing this, doing that for real. Showing love here, showing love here. You know what I mean? And it's just it's just crazy because it's like, all right, when you're doing constant shit, it's like you can't be doing it at like a mediocre level for real. You got to keep on bumping up. Talk that you shit. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. you got to keep bumping up. So... Being consistent is only a matter of like just being one certain level of a success. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like you gotta do certain shit with that consistency for real. So me being me for real, like I'm I'm a I'm a street nigga and I'm a real nigga at the end of the day for real. So niggas already gonna give me that the credibility of my words being what it Genuine, is for real. You real. feel me? Right. So me jumping out the box is like all right. I got I got like maybe make a song for the females or maybe make a song like this where it's like not talking about certain shit for real like maybe it get to that certain type of point in my career for real. maybe i had to make that song and that's where it gonna go for me but at the end of the day for real, it's never gonna change me i'm gonna still be 
be dice you feel what i'm saying making what dice loves to make you feel me that good music mm -hmm. for real you feel me shit ain't gonna never change you know what i mean and that's what i always felt about you bro i fuck what about you you always was like just genuine and never never was scared to like just say your truth right mm -hmm. like even with like the little situation on social media that happened with mm -hmm. family and shit it's just mm -hmm. you was always just able to like step up as a man and be like yo this is this is what it is with me right. and what's going on with me. No matter how you want to judge or how you look at it, right. this is my truth. And that's and a lot of people can't even do that, let right. alone be vulnerable right. for other people. So in return, I think that's what makes your music even better because you're able to be vulnerable on a track when a right. lot of people can't really do that. Right, I appreciate that, <laughs> No, nah, no problem. You, do you think sometimes real life be holding you back too, though? Yeah. Speaking of family shit. Yeah, hell yeah. Like, you know, and that's some things, you know, uh, that come with life, you know what I mean? And learning how to cope with shit for real. This mm. motherfucking artist that's big as shit for real going through real life shit that affect their career for real when it's at a different scale because you got paparazzi, you got all that shit on they, you know what I mean? People don't be wanting to know their business and all that stuff for real. So it's like, it do affect me for real at a certain extent, you know what I mean? But no, nah, like it, it, it can't really get between my music and you know what I mean, like what I gotta produce for real as far as my music, like right. it can't do that for real. Like I just gotta put it in a song or something. Like fuck like that. We, we turned this shit into Ellen, man. Let's right. get to the music, bro. What uh <laughs> what you working on right now, dog? Uh I mean I've got all deep and shit. Like we like what's uh, where the music at, man? What you working on now? Shit, I got hella shit for real. Like uh shout out to my nigga Ivan, you know what I mean? Uh dope kid on the beat. He he gave me a couple beats for real. I've been working on hella shit with him. I got a tape coming out for real, real soon. Don't got the name yet, but it's coming out. You know what I mean? But uh, just dropped a single, two singles, matter of fact, Testimony and uh, Vulnerable. Um, I got another uh, single get ready to drop, Sanity. Um, shout out to Ivan. He just shot that shit. Uh, but I got another uh, freestyle interview coming up next month. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? DC. You know, shout out to DMV DC. You know what I mean? I'm coming down there showing y'all love. Fuck the shit up down there. I yeah, mean, I know what's going on. Yo, how did it feel? Since we talking freestyle real quick, cause you were one of the first ones to do the freestyle on um, bars on I ninety five and shit. You wasn't even expecting that. Like looking <laughs> back on it now, though, like how, how do you look at that now? Hey, yo, <laughs> that shit crazy. Like, cause it's like I could put that as one of my accolades. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I could say I've been on there with C's. You feel what I'm saying? Like it's so crazy, bro. Like. I want to talk about that day. <laughs> I want to talk about that day. Talk about For it, real, bro. yo. Because I just want you to know, you my man. You my man. And Not I fuck with you for real. Because we was in, it was it was me and uh, my son mother. We was in a hotel for real. And my son wasn't even here for real. She was still pregnant or whatever. And um, you called me, it was like 8, 9 in the morning or something. Uh -huh. <laughs> yo, her daughter had a party for real for her at the hotel and shit. So we in that motherfucker. We... They sleep for real. I'm like, what the fuck is Jay calling me this morning? Bro? Yo, you feel me? When you said you needed me there and all that shit, it's so crazy. The whole year, the whole that whole year, bro, I was watching Sue Surf shit on there and a couple other people, but you know, Sue Surf shit was just like crazy. monumental. That's, that's what blew that shit up. <sighs> bro, that shit was just so hard, bro. Like, mm -hmm. I could not stop watching it. And then when you said it, it was just like, what? <laughs> I, I instantly woke up like, what the fuck for real? Like, yo, you feel me? So when you, when you told me where it was at and all that shit, got everything together for real. It was like, all right, boom. I was out Owens Mills. You was out like Overly. It was somewhere by Morgan. Yeah, it might have been Overly every year. Man, that shit was like damn near 45 minutes away. And you told me you needed me there in like 20 minutes. Uh -huh. So I bursted over that motherfucker. Got over there. And I was kind of mad because you said he was pulling back up. But I was like, all right, I'm going to still wait. I got the info and all that. But when you said I was going on, uh -huh. yeah, everything just stopped, yo. You know what's crazy about that situation because um, a lot of people don't know this, like, me and C's is actually cool now, right? Like, it, like it, we didn't know each other outside of this freestyle shit, right? Like, I think at, at one point in the time in the, in the area, you no know, Ghost Rider was, like, probably the hottest freestyle mm -hmm. under Flex, of course, right? Mm -hmm. um, and in the area as, as well. So, like, I think I, I seen them before the Sue Surf or whatever. I had hit them up, like, yo, I fuck with what you're doing just because, like, I'm a real nigga. I, don't, I, I hate when niggas be scared to show niggas love because right. like somebody gonna suppress you or something like that. Right. I never been that type. So like I hit him up like, yo, I see what you're doing. Keep doing your thing, bro. It's dope for real. Right. And he had hit me back like, yo, um, I want to link with you basically like have lunch or something because he wanted some of the Baltimore artists because they wasn't who they are now. And I'm like, 
Of course, like you feel me? Like I'm right. a, a real nigga. Like it is what it is, bro. I can help you out however I can help you out. Right. So when they did the suit surf shit, I never forget. I to this day I'll be like, yo, I'm so glad I wasn't on no fake ass Hollywood uh-huh. shit, bro, because like I would have fucked up a relationship. Right. And, but that shows you that's how life is. Niggas be they want to act like can't nobody fuck with them and they and they unfuckwithable. And mm-hmm. the next thing you know, the next nigga that you shitting on mm-hmm. is surpassing you and, and over you. You feel me? Like right. and I I'm a, and I'm okay with saying that. Like they surpassed me. That numbers are there. It is what it is. Like it's all love. Cause at the end of the day, I'm gonna do what I'm doing regardless right, exactly. in any field I'm in. You exactly, feel me? Yep. So like it was just it was definitely dope for me to be able to help you out because right. he was like, yo, who sh- who else should I get from Boston? I'm like, dice. Yeah, <laughs> and like, right. Every time niggas ask me about the freestyles, they be like, yo, who your favorites? And I be like, bro, my favorites is the niggas that y'all don't know about. And it's mm-hmm. sad because like that's just my favorites. It ain't right. it ain't nothing against nobody else. Cause all the big names definitely helped me get to. My platform, but I did right. it on, on a, for a reason. Right. You know what I'm yeah. I knew what I was doing. Yeah, but there's a lot yeah. of the niggas that people don't even know names. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like you, like the guy Mike Even, like the nigga uh, Famous from Philly. There's a lot of niggas yeah. that's really nice. Like fucking uh, McSavage from down the hill. There's yeah, so many yeah. niggas that's nice hell that yeah. pro- niggas probably wouldn't even know the names. Yeah. And I always showed you love for that, man. Yeah, um, real shit, man. So what else? You got the, you got the tape coming. You ain't, you ain't put no name to it yet. No, nah, hell no. Not really yet, you feel me? I know it's going to come together real soon, but, you know, it's, it's time. You know, everything is time, and you know what I mean? Like, that's why I'm putting out singles here and there for real, you feel me? Like I said, I just shot a uh, video probably, like, it was like a week ago. It was called Sanity, so mm-hmm. it'll be out real soon for real, you know what I mean? Yo, speaking of, like, my favorites on the freestyle platform, being mm-hmm. a lot of people that niggas don't know, how do you feel about the love and support you get from your city? far as being a rapper and amongst the elite of the city. Right. Um, I feel like... Uh, you think you get your respect? Honestly, yo, you know, it, it, it really don't matter to me because, you know, like, I'm, I'm in the mix, you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And the people I know for real when the mix and they real niggas and shit like that, you feel me? So as long as I know I'm respected and getting love from them for real, it really don't matter to me. But no, nah, not really, you feel me? But... That's not gonna stop me from doing what I'm doing, putting the music out that I'm putting out. You feel mm-hmm. me? And showing love to other artists that's doing their thing for real. Like right. that's some hating ass shit for real. For real. I know I'm. You feel me? Like what kind of music I can make and how my talent is. You know what I'm saying? Like so that don't give me like the uh, the opportunity to you know feel as though like yeah, uh, I'm, cause I'm better than this nigga. Like he get more respect than me. I, I shouldn't show him no love or I should not you know acknowledge these fans or try to reach out to them for real they should be reaching out no hell no you feel me that's some weak ass shit right you feel me so what i do for real is just try to stay consistent like i said you feel me because once you make it people won't come around that's a fact you feel me like what do you think that far as like media personalities such as myself radio guys um niggas that's in the industry in general especially in our area not even just baltimore let's say dmv where do you think they go wrong or what can they do better to be tapped in with the streets, because I feel like a lot of niggas is just looking for that next big artist that's lit, that's going to get them on and put a, get the numbers up there. Mm-hmm. But they really be skipping over the streets. What do you think we can do better to help us get more involved in the streets and be on in in the streets like niggas used to be to keep it a hundred? Right. To right. be honest, um, like yo, it's really hard to say here in Baltimore as a city because. It's, it's, it's just so hard for real because if you like a, a, a artist, you know what I'm saying, and you ain't doing a certain thing or you ain't here in this certain area for real, it's, it's just not saying it's going to be hard to gravitate because, you know what I mean, anything is possible for real, for real, but like you got to be in that certain type of crowd or mix for real, you feel me? You got to know the type of schemes to pull for real for motherfuckers to support you here and it's, it's, it's fucked up, but... That's how it is for real. Politics. You feel me? Like, yeah, yeah politics. You got a politics. But that's everywhere. Yeah. But I, I want, that's why I'm asking specifically, like, and just being honest, you know what I mean? Even if it's me, like, what do you think? Because I know you probably have your conversations with your, your other artists, friends, and things like that. Mm-hmm. And, like, just talking about radio in general. Right. Okay. What do you think? I'm going to say we, because I'm in radio. Right. What do you think we go wrong or what we okay. can do better? Maybe just, you know, uh, what. Certain days for real, like how uh, they do uh, the, what the spotlight or mm. next to nine and shit okay. like that for okay. real, you know. Uh, certain showcases like how you did the No Ghost Rider showcase before. Okay, you feel me? People fuck with shit like that. Um, Just keep it, keep doing things like that. Yeah, you know, uh, certain little, you know, little shows and 
like how Stokey do, uh, you know, the shit the at uh, City. Uh, SU City. Yeah, yep. little shits like that for real. Uh, so y'all care I mean? about that? Man, hell yeah. You know, it's crazy because once you... <clears throat> and, yeah. and, and, and I would definitely say this is one of my problems, mistakenly, not on purpose. You know, once you get to a certain level, you think because you know the insides of it mm-hmm. and you and you feel a particular way about it, you think everybody else feel the same way. Right. right? So, for example, for me, it's like... I might think, man, I ain't want to do no rap showcase in, yeah, in, right. in, in no store for the artists because it ain't really doing nothing right. right. Whole time, the next artist that's looking for opportunity is like, man, that shit is doing everything for me, mm-hmm. right? And like, and I think that's where a lot of us go wrong is like we try to put our way of thinking. Not, and let me not say a lot. I say myself, right? Because I don't want to put my way of thinking on nobody else. No, but I feel true. like, you know, sometimes myself, I'll be thinking like, man... Ain't no artist about to get signed from this. Like I'm, I'm doing this oh, showcase. No. Oh, and you feel me? You ain't and the like, only one, right? And it's like, and it's I'm not not doing it because I, I don't fuck with the artist. It's just in my mind, it's like, man, I want to do something that's gonna be more impactful. I mean, let me not say more because clearly, again, what Stokey is doing, mm-hmm. what uh, Squirrel Wild is doing, mm-hmm. all them guys, what they doing is is really dope. But mm-hmm. I just think in different people's minds, it's like, man, if I can't put you on and get a, a deal and a record label, I'll skip past the opportunity for you to perform in front right. of some of your peers or some niggas that don't know you, right? And right. I think that's unfair for artists too. We gotta stop, I gotta stop doing that for sure. I definitely, and I keep saying me because like, I just, I'm a type of nigga that I ain't scared. Like I hope myself accountable. It is what right. it is. Like I know right. where I fuck up. And a man gonna acknowledge his fuck ups is all right. good. Right. I just think more radio people gotta be in the streets. Yeah, man. and they gotta be present more because like once you guys, you know, come out and they know you guys coming out and shit like that for real, that bring out other motherfuckers like, you know, people don't know certain people unless other motherfuckers mm. come out. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's like, Stokey sometimes bring people out with Facts. them. You yeah. feel me? Like, so like, even when you come out, you bring certain people for real, or uh, certain motherfuckers that's with Stokey bring people nah, that's with them. Like, yeah. and people don't be known for real. Like, and I give, I, like, I feel the same way at times like you for real. Like, it's at certain little clubs and certain people be reaching out to me. Yo, we doing shows, this and that. I be like, man, I ain't trying to do that shit. Like, <laughs> family, like, ain't nobody. But I end up, like, all right, missing the point. Like, all right, I really got to network and do this and do that. Like, this is a part of what I'm trying to do for real. This is the, what I need to do for real, for real. So right. it's like you being present at certain little functions and shit like that for real can bring other artists in mm-hmm. the way as though it's like, all right, yeah, I'm going to show up for real because such and such going to be there, this and that going to be there. It'll be more of a cultural thing. You all feel right. me? That, all right, since Jay coming down for real, you might get other little hosts to come down and shit right. like that. Or shit, you might get this person to come down because they might just want to see you. They like fucking with your podcast or whatever right. the case may be for real. Like, you know, whatever. You know nah, what I'm saying? I love, that's why I love interviews like this, dog, because, like, niggas can really sit down and have real genuine conversations. Mm-hmm. And I feel like because we know each other, you know, we can have these conversations. A lot of niggas be, uh, a lot of people just can't have these conversations because they be scared. Mm-hmm. They, 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 they scared for a nigga to, to tell them the truth about themselves. And yeah, like, when you know each other, like, niggas ain't rocking like that. Yeah, like, niggas, like, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. But no, man, I fuck with you. Anything else yeah, that we know. didn't touch on that you uh, wanted to let the people know? Man, hell no, man. Just follow me everywhere, man. Official underscore Dice Swag, man. Shout out to Jay. He know I got one of the best no ghost writers. I'm going to mm-hmm. keep saying that, you <laughs> know what I mean? And if you ain't rocking with none of us, man, I'm so- oh, shout out to this A2O, too. Mm-hmm. I ain't going to forget My that. My shit almost gone, too. I already killed the uh, killed the bottle for real. This shit tastes like this, juice. This shit gonna have you drunk. Ocean, <laughs> oh yeah, ocean, oh six percent alcohol. <laughs> don't 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 let them influence you. He had, he I'm got have like ten of these motherfuckers. <laughs> so six times ten is sixty. Yeah man, but yeah, you I ain't got drunk shit. Off of that. Real shit though, like for real. This, that boat party had a nigga lit. Nah, fuck fuck with the, the the squad, man. What's the Instagram one more time? Official underscore dice swag, man. You and what's man? the A two O? A two O. Official Water Girl, yeah. official underscore Dice Swag. You yeah, already man. know, man. Conversation Series, Mr. J Hill is a rap. We out. Yes, sir.